Hi everyone, if you're new to my channel, my name is Isaac and I was born and raised in the Philippines but now living in Auckland, New Zealand. My wife and I went to Christchurch to celebrate our wedding anniversary. So Auckland is on the north part of New Zealand and Christchurch is on the South Island. So without further ado, I will share the five places you need to eat at in Christchurch. I know there are so many great cafes or restaurants in Christchurch, but I will only share five. Top five is the Coffee Culture Cafe in the airport. So we live in Auckland, right? And our flight to Christchurch was 8 a.m. So we woke up at 6 a.m. and didn't get a chance to have a coffee. So as soon as we landed at the Christchurch airport, we looked for a place where we can eat. And there, the Coffee Culture Cafe welcomed us. I ordered large flat white and chicken bagel and my wife ordered a chai latte and a banana crepe. In total, we only spent $36.40. The space is not really spacious for travelers with big luggage but the food is yummy and the staff are friendly. So if you're like us and you're looking for a place where you can eat at while in the Christchurch airport, then I would highly recommend the Coffee Culture Cafe. Top four place that you should eat at in Christchurch is the ILX Cafe. So one thing unique about the ILX Cafe is that it is located right in the heart of the stunning Christchurch Botanic Gardens. Visiting Botanic Garden is free. So if you are into plants or just want to have a free activity within the Christchurch city, then you should definitely visit the Botanical Garden and head to the beautiful cafe which is the Ilex Cafe. Basically, the theme of the cafe is white, glass, and plants. Although their price is quite a bit expensive compared to the portion of the serving, I can say that their food is delicious. I usually get chicken burger, but this time, for some reason, I ordered salmon and my wife ordered lamb. And they both taste yummy. So yeah, if you're going to Christchurch, visit Botanical Garden and might as well eat in the Ilex Cafe. So top three. This is a little bit different and this is something that you should try. My colleague suggested that we go to the little high eatery where we can try different cuisines like international cuisines. And on our quest to find the little high eatery, we found a Filipino restaurant beside it. We went to the little high eatery first and it is quite packed. And because we're celebrating our anniversary, we don't want a noisy crowd. So we head over to the Filipino restaurant. It's not too crowded. So we decided to eat there instead. The name of the restaurant is Sari Sari. So that is the Filipino restaurant beside the Little High Eatery. So since they offer food from our birth country, we immediately felt nostalgic and decided to eat there. Their sharing plate for two people ranges from $22 to $32, which is a reasonable price. But they have an all-you-can-eat option, and that is for $39. So you just have to pay $7 extra, but then you will be able to try different dishes. So we opted for the all-you-can-eat. And I can say Kare Kare was our favorite. My second favorite was Chop Suey, but my wife's second favorite is the Crispy Pata. And then we ate Sinigang, Liempo, Sisig. They have other food as well, but we're just too full that we can't eat more. So we don't want to force ourselves. We just ate those dishes and we're very 
very satisfied. So we only spent $78 cause $39 each and we're tummy super full. So I'm sure you've already tried Indian food, Chinese food, Thai food, but this time if you want to try something different then definitely try Filipino food. And sorry sorry, beside the high eatery in Christchurch, you should definitely try. Before anything else, please follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube at Rainbow Believer Number One. And don't forget to hit that notification bell. And that way you'll be notified whenever I upload new videos. And then you won't miss anything. So top two is the Red Rock Cafe. One thing spectacular about the Red Rock Cafe is that it has a fantastic view. Plus, it is cheap. The serving is decent as well. So I said that it is cheap because I was expecting it to be a little expensive than usual because it is the only cafe at the top of the summit. But no, their prices are just like the same with the other cafes. I mean, their burger costs $18.50 which includes chips and their seafood platter also costs $18.50 but that's to share so it's good for two people. The interior of the cafe is a bit outdated but maybe they're doing it in purpose so just you will focus on the view outside and not really like focus on the inside but I just wish they will make it more stylish. I mean it is clean. It is clean, but it just look a little bit dull. But anyway, to get to the Red Rock Cafe, you need to experience the gondola first and take in the spectacular 360 degree views and see Christchurch from a different perspective. So yeah, if you're going to Christchurch, I would highly recommend gondola and the Red Rock Cafe. And the last one, the top one on my list is the Tramway Restaurant. Tramway Restaurant in Christchurch is the only tramway restaurant in New Zealand. And it is a moving tram, okay? It's not just a tram themed restaurant. No, it is a legit restaurant in a moving tram where you can view the heritage of Christchurch inner city while enjoying delicious dinner so we celebrated our anniversary dinner there and we enjoyed the luxury service and the delicious food when you arrive they will give you a welcome drink at that time we had a glass of sparkling wine to be followed by starter entree main course and of course the dessert it cost us 119 dollars per person Yes, it's expensive because of the luxury service and being the only tramway restaurant in New Zealand. Plus, you have to pay additional $35 if you want to get the wine pairing. Although there's not much food option in the menu, we are pretty happy with the food that we ordered. The dinner tour is about 2 hours and 30 minutes. This tramway restaurant can only accommodate 36 guests. So it's really a good experience if you want to have an interview intimate experience with someone. The seats and tables are fixed. You can't move them around. I'm not sure if the tramway restaurant is a good option if you're celebrating with group of friends or with children. But for our case, it was our anniversary. So the tramway restaurant is just perfect. So there! That's my five places you should eat at in Christchurch. You know, I'm always grateful to be able to eat anything that I want now. And with that privilege, I make sure that we don't waste any food. I hate wasting food, to be honest. If we can't finish it, then we take it home. I can still remember being in a restaurant or in a fast food. And I always look for the cheaper food on the menu, even though I don't actually like it. But because I don't have enough money, I always choose the cheapest one. So yeah, I know we all have problems. But as long as you still have food to eat, you still have a reason to be blessed. I hope you enjoyed watching my video and please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you won't miss anything. See you again next time. Stay blessed.